In 1980s Britain, there was a mass-produced portrait that contained a picture of a little boy crying, a portrait that was believed to be cursed. Thousands were so terrified of its curse that many ripped the portrait from their walls and there was even mass bonfires around the country of people attempting to destroy the portrait. Can a mass-produced painting be haunted by the spirit of a little boy? The Crying Boy painting was created by an Italian painter named Giovanni Brogolin. Giovanni began producing the paintings in the 1950s, which he later sold to European markets. It is thought he sold around 50,000 portraits of various versions of the crying boy. He stated that the paintings are of a young orphan boy whose parents died in a fire. The painting captures his face as he watches his family burn to death in their house. The boy in the painting has a profound sadness and despair and you can almost feel the boy's grief at being left alone as an orphan when looking at the picture. A few years after the release of the painting, word circulated that the boy who was the object of the painting died from an explosion, and there was also rumours that before he died, he was molested and abused. Shortly after his death is when strange and horrifying things started happening with the paintings around the world. The first suspected terror stemming from the painting was experienced by a Roy and May Hall in the town of Rotherham, England. The couple had bought a painting of the crying boy and hung it on the wall of their home. The couple's home burned down not long after by a frying pan that caught a light. The fire from the pan immediately spread throughout the house and to all the belongings in the house caught fire. When the house and all its belongings had finally been reduced to ash, the only item to remain undamaged by the fire was the crime boy painting. My name is David Dawson and my grandmother owned the cursed crying boy painting. My gran had the crying boy painting hung in the living room. It was basically a picture of a small boy. There was sort of an orange glow reflected on his skin, as though he was looking at something burning. And he has a single tear running down his face. But I can remember my gran reading the newspaper once that ran with the story that there was this particular painting that was alleged to have caused several house fires. Everything in the house would be destroyed and the painting was the only thing that had survived the house fire. It was then put forward that the painting was cursed. The fires were not only experienced by the buyers of the painting, Giovanni Grabolin, the maker of the painting, had also had his studio burned down. After these two incidents, people around Britain and the world started telling their stories of how their houses or properties had also burned down and that the only item to ever survive was the paintings. There's a hole in the bottom right hand corner the painting but the flames don't appear to be uh, spreading across. Well you'd have to say that has not caught fire. Yeah, no, it's definitely dying down now, in fact it's now time to put the sausages on. The painting had a hole in it from where the fire had touched it but the flames hadn't spread. But you'd have to say that fire is pretty much going out. At this time, there is currently around 50 fires that are linked to these paintings that have been reported to the media, although there may be many more that were never reported. After a few cases of these fires, people around Britain started burning the paintings en masse in large bonfires to be sure the paintings were destroyed, frightened and scared that they too could become victims of a house fire. 
Were the fires a coincidence or caused by a curse? You decide for yourselves. <laughs>